Good morning everyone! So today's video I've been really excited to do for you guys because I am going to be comparing these two foundations here. Now I want to start doing some videos comparing Korean brands or Asian brands versus Western brands just because I've noticed, I'm sure you guys have noticed this too, but a lot of times they'll do dupes of each other or I, I wouldn't even call them dupes, like different versions of each other. With this in particular, Makeup Forever had their HD foundation that was really popular so I saw this from Hera which is the HD Perfect Foundation. Now, I can't say for sure if Hera used the Makeup Forever HD Foundation as inspiration for creating theirs. However, I do have to say that I think the packaging is fairly similar and the HD concept is something that I personally think Makeup Forever kind of put the brand on the map. But anyway, so what I'm going to do today in this review slash comparison Beauty Battle Breakdown, I am going to apply the Makeup Forever HD Foundation on this side of my face and then I'm going to apply the HD Foundation, HD Perfect Foundation from here on the left side of my face. I'm going to wear it throughout the day and you guys will see at the end of the day how it's worn and kind of what it looks like. Also, I don't have anything on my skin right now besides my morning skincare routine. If you want to see what I apply on my skin in the morning, you can click here. I have a full routine where I show you guys all the products that I use, the order that I use, the blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. So you guys can see that if you're interested. Also, I'm wearing sunscreen because you should protect your skin every single day. Uh, my skin tone is about an NC20 to 25 in MAC foundations. I also have a dry skin type, so just to give you guys all of the background information. Also, when I test out foundations, I don't use a primer, set it with a powder, or use a concealer because I like to see how the foundations wear on their own. So without further ado, let's get started slapping this stuff on my face. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever HD foundation on the right side of my skin. The shade that I use is the shade <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know if this has a shade on it. <laughs> um, well, this is what I have on the bottom. Actually, this was matched to my skin while I was in Sephora. He actually recommended me and matched me to one that was like two or three shades darker than this and he applied it on and I was like, <gasps> I'm not that tan. <laughs> So now I have the Makeup Forever HD foundation on this side of my face. One thing that I have to say that I've noticed since using this is that I feel like I use a lot of makeup product when I use this. I feel like to cover my whole face it takes a couple pumps. I'd say I put a full pump of makeup on this side of my face so just keep that in mind. It seems like I have to use a lot of product when I use this one. This is one thing that I can say immediately that is kind of a downfall from the Hera versus Makeup Forever one is that Makeup Forever has a ton of ton of shades and the hair one only has I believe three so it's kind of crazy and this is their darkest one Makeup Forever on this side and the hair one on this side. So what do you guys think? I do have to say off the bat, this one does have a more matte finish than this one does. I feel like this one looks more natural on my skin, the hair side, because this almost looks a little too flat, but it just kind of depends on personal preference. So let's talk about how they applied. Now the Makeup Forever is a bit thicker in consistency. I found that it actually blended into my skin really nicely without that much effort, but I felt like I had to use a lot of product. Now the Hera one is a bit more on the liquidy side. I feel like the coverage is also a little bit higher with the Hera one surprisingly because I felt like it applied, even though it was a thinner consistency, I felt like it applied a little bit thicker. That being said, I did use less product of the Hera one because it just spread a lot easier than the Makeup Forever one, but it did take a little bit more effort for me to get it to sit because it was so liquidy. It took a little bit more effort blending it all together so there weren't any streaks or marks or anything like that. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in natural sunlight and I'm also going to wear this throughout the day, check in with you guys, not set it with powder, use a primer or a concealer and we will see how this wears. So 
it is my second check-in of the day. I've now had these foundations on my skin for about four hours now. Again, just to remind you, I have the Makeup Forever on the right side of my face and I have the Hera on the left side of my face. So looking in the mirror, in all honesty, they look really similar. I can only tell the difference because they're slightly different shades. This one's a little bit more on the tan side and slightly darker, while this one's on the more yellow slide side and slightly lighter. But they look pretty dang close. I can kind of see in my fine lines here underneath my eyes that it is creasing a little bit more than Makeup Forever. That's me being very critical and really, really looking at it closely. If I were to just look at my face normally, I honestly wouldn't notice a difference if I didn't know that I had two different foundations on my skin. But I am going to go ahead and show you guys close-ups of what it looks like now, four hours in, in this artificial lighting as well as the natural lighting. So let's go ahead and take a look at my skin. These foundations have both been on my skin now for about nine and a half hours. I have the Makeup Forever HD foundation on my right side and the Hera HD Perfect foundation on the left side of my face. So looking at my face now after wearing it all day, I have to say that the foundations look really nice. They seem to have held really well. Actually, as weird as it sounds, I feel like the HD foundation didn't keep as much of my oil at bay as the Hera one, which is surprising considering starting off the Hera was a little bit more dewy looking and the HD, or the, the Makeup Forever one, sorry I'm tired, the Makeup Forever one was actually more matte. Now I have to say, for not having to set these or prime them, I feel like both of these held really well considering I usually do set my foundations with primers, so I'm really happy about how they wore and I think they're both really, really excellent foundations. say that the positives of the Makeup Forever is it does offer a good amount of coverage. It has way, way more shade selections, colors, undertones, all that kind of stuff than the Hera one and it lasted all day. The positives of the Hera one is that I liked the finish actually of this one a little bit better just because it looked a little bit more natural and I like how it looks at the end of the day. This does have a little bit higher coverage, surprisingly very, very slightly, but a little bit higher coverage and like the Makeup Forever one, it lasted all day. So both of these look amazing. Honestly, I can't even really tell a difference between the two besides the fact that the Makeup Forever one is a little bit darker than the Hera one. So I would say that these are definitely, definitely very, very comparable. Like I said, the only difference is really the color section. These are kind of my go-to foundations when I'm looking for a foundation that has good coverage, it's gonna last all day, looks really nice, photographs well, and that I overall like in general. I actually wore the Hera one to a wedding recently. I Instagrammed it, so I will put that here if you want to check that out. But yeah, so that is my comparison. I hope this was helpful. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video.